Guys, we're going on a winter camping adventure. The car thermometer was reading minus 11. And we're gonna go discover a bit of a forgotten lake that I don't think many people go to. Got a nice big heavy pack. I think we have about a two hour hike to the lake we're going to. And who knows the last time someone went there. There should be a trail the whole way. But it's definitely going to be an adventure. Check these out. Goat wool mittens. Super cool. Starts with a bit of a little climb. That's okay. We're ready for this. So get this. I just um, was talking to the groundkeeper here who's running around on a side-by-side. -side. And uh, he wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing because... Well, A, I guess it's a little crazy to be camping in this type of weather. But B, he told me there's some wolves up here. And they they catch from wolves every year or something, apparently. So, I'll keep the bear spray close. Just adds all to the adventure, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I took a wrong turn. Instead of eating humble pie and backtracking, I tried to cross country. Through, through the forest and through a mostly frozen swamp, got both my feet wet. Um, but now I'm just finally getting back to the path I think I should be on. So remember how something that guy was telling me about wolves? Look at that. I'm not 100% sure, but to me that's probably a wolf print because that looks like a big, big dog foot. That's huge, and they're going the same direction as me. Very interesting, we'll see where they lead. Check this out here, just beside my hand for comparison. I don't know if that was like a double footprint or something, but that's Definitely not a small dog. Collected a bunch of those birch bark. I'll double check the map. Let's see where we're at on the trail. Um, here, I'm just gonna have a couple granola bars. And uh, stash, this will be useful for starting a fire. So here we are, here's the lake. Um, I think I want to try and camp right over on that point. I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure I dropped a pin on Google Maps with my uncle right over there. And it's actually pretty wild to see something on satellite imagery and then come and find it. It's pretty cool. It's just super wild here. Like, it looks like there's a really defined trail, but that's just where the beavers have been walking. My biggest issue right now is my feet are completely soaked. My boots are like sponges. Now I'm kind of curious to see just how thick the ice is. So I'm going to go out with my hatchet a little bit. Just to get a sense. This is definitely very deep here. Like, on the edge here I have no problem walking on it, except for the fact that now that I'm hitting that, it just, the ice just cracked here and made a huge sound. So, the lake doesn't enjoy me hacking it away. The other reason I kind of want to hack this ice is to um, see if I can get through the water so I can boil, boil water because um, dealing with boiling snow you need so much snow to get it's kind of like maple syrup but a little less bad you need so much more snow than water but I definitely don't recommend doing this at home um, my training is that I'm Canadian it's kind of born in a snowbank now I'm curious if I can pitch my tent on here. Uh-uh. <laughs> 
found two hunting hunting not cabins but little uh, hunting blinds uh, one was in decent condition um the other one was dilapidated and had this yeah a bunch of particle board and so i grabbed some pieces and i'm gonna build a fire on the ice on top of that i'm gonna use that to try and insulate the ice from the fire and hopefully that works over here to where the ice is thinner. I'm opening up a spot so I can draw water from the lake. As opposed to melting snow, this isn't the ideal spot because we're right by the beaver lodge, so it's probably like beaver poo and stuff. Okay. Does anyone want a slushy? lake slushy. I had to rebuild the fire, but hopefully this time it works. I, I lowered it so it's not on such a stack. Just cooking up some nors. Got a couple packets of noodles. It's like creamy chives or something. My feet are super soaked especially my right foot. So I'm gonna change socks, but I'm also going to be putting uh, garbage bags inside of my boots to help mitigate that moisture. I can see that there is just, it's ice. Um, I'm not, I don't have a ton of feeling in my right foot right now. Slightly concerning, but we should be okay. I put this in my boot earlier a hot pock. It's a reusable hand warmer to Quebec brand. Super cool. I did some photos for them last year. That helped for a while, but they don't last super, super long. Um, so now I'm just going to try and warm up my foot by the fire a bit. Uh, change shocks. Try and get a bit drier here. Just warming my toes by the fire. Um, yeah, just trying to recover here. It's slightly painful. All right, so I've got some fresh shocks on. Um, with garbage bags now over my feet, I put these other pants on. I took the garbage bags up these pants. Um, so yeah, my feet are slowly starting to warm up. So I cut some spruce boughs to have something to stand on and sit on while I'm here. Uh, especially because my feet were so cold and I was going to have to take my boots off to change and stuff. So this is turning out to be pretty helpful. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than being straight on the ground. I'm going to get some hot food into me. There you go. Okay, wow, that feels so good. Winter camping is really amazing but it's also very difficult have great dexterity with mittens on. That's a piece of birch, I think, which is hardwood, and that's gonna burn for a while. Which will actually give me time to go walk around the lake, hopefully.
know this image is super grainy, but the moon is just mental. It's just below the trees. It's very cool. Sidekicks, creamy carbonara. Good morning. I've been in bed for almost 12 hours at this point. Can't really say I want to get up yet. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. <laughs> They're blocks of ice. <laughs> Okay, I finally got it with the ferro rod using that birch bark and some fire starters. So I'm gonna try and build up the fire. And then uh, hopefully start boiling some water. We've got super grain oatmeal, maple, and brown sugar flavor. I'm gonna do as many packets as this can fit. One thing I would say about camping in these types of conditions is you need to have a pretty high tolerance for discomfort. This has just been beautiful and just such an interesting time of year with the ice very much formed but still forming. I don't know how much of it I have captured or it has uh, made its way into the edit of this video but um, I fought with the fire quite a bit. But yeah, it's been really good. I think this is a, a new favorite spot for sure. system to relatively efficiently pack all my gear for the winter, which is cool. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe out there and enjoy this winter.